A Decatur mom is on a mission to educate people about sickle cell. September is awareness month for the blood disorder, but she works all year long to educate people about the deadly condition. News 19's Archie Snowden tells us why she's so passionate about the disease. It's a disease that's not often thought about, but affects many lives each year. Sickle cell anemia, a disease that is characterized by the sickling of red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen through the body, and although considered rare in the United States, the inherited blood disorder affects around 100,000 people. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, many of those affected are African American. Samaj was the biggest part that you could ever meet, uh, the nicest guy you could ever meet, I would say. Samaj passed away at the age of 20 due to complications of sickle cell anemia. But before he passed away, he had a desire to help others uh, with sickle cell. He wanted to put the word out about sickle cell. Each year, his mother, Tanise Johnson, hosts an event that her son created before his death. Samaj Sickle Cell Warriors not only raises funds for research, but educates folks on early detection. Since he's been gone, we as a family have gathered to try to keep his legacy going, um, keep his dream, pretty much keep his dream up. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, sickle cell is the most common genetic blood disorder in the United States. A newborn has a greater chance of being affected when both parents have the sickle cell trait. Sickle cell trait says that you have an abnormal gene that once it's mated with another abnormal gene, then you will have the chances of having a baby born with sickle cell disease. The only current cure for sickle cell disease, according to the CDC, is a bone marrow transplant and researchers are hoping for more closely matched donors. Indicator, Archie Snowden, News 19. Thanks to early detection and new treatments, about half of all people who have sickle cell now have a chance to live into their 50s.